I was hoping for Spiders 3D to be like Jason X, where it's clearly a bad movie, but also really over the top cheesy and fun. And I was wrong. Spiders 3D is disappointingly okay. So I didn't get my bad fun movie, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. A uh, one thing I will praise this movie is the CG look of the spider. I was expecting like Anaconda bad and like the alligator uh, series bad where like an alligator is killing people in lakes or whatever that series or there's like five movies, I think. But no, because unlike these movies, whoever whatever team visual effects team did the spider was not bad it, it was good i mean you can clearly tell it was cg but it didn't look bad at least to me maybe my eyes are fucked up i'm blind i do need glasses maybe it's just me but man when i go back and watch like those anaconda movies for the first time never watched them twice and the alligator series or whatever like the first anaconda the first alligator movie it seems like they cared about making the alligator and snake look good whether it was cg or practical and then the sequels and later movies they're just like you know what Oh, I just gonna phone this in. We don't care. We're gonna make it look bad. But no, Spiders 3D. Uh, again, disappointed. I wanted a bad movie, but you know, I got a surprisingly okay movie. Because when I when I heard Spiders 3D, I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch this for 31 days. You know, because it looked bad. But no, I was wrong. Wrong, man. But yeah, we meet typical characters. I'm not gonna lie, I did not pay attention to the characters. All I wanted, all I cared about when watching this movie is to be entertained and watch how bad the spider looked. So the later spider look looked fine, and it. It was entertaining kinda it was still pretty boring like i'm sure i remember this one guy he uh works for like the cia in new york or something spiders they get big because of some medical thing i'm really phoning this movie in completely sorry i mean it was scary at some points again even though it was the cg was fine it didn't look bad oh you know what else i thought of actually you know what forget that part of the best part of the movie is the big guy the big guy spider it reminded me of resident evil 1 with that boss fight where you're fighting a big snake or even a big spider i think one of the resident evil movies i mean resident evil games i was like okay this feels kind of like resident evil two movies in a row feels like resident evil maybe i should do resident evil once at some point but yeah it was um i don't know i feel like i'm just kind of saying the same thing over and over again because I wanted this movie to be bad. I repeat, I wanted it to be bad. And it, it just, it, it wasn't bad. I thought it was gonna be fun too. And it kind of was, but then kind of wasn't. So I'm just kind of left with the like, like, I don't know what to say. Like, they, uh, they kill the spider. You know, that's inevitable, right? Carol's gonna win or our lame, boring characters are gonna win. But there wasn't even like a memorable character. Like in Jason X, there was like the, the professor, the, the nipple twist professor or like the robotic girl. <laughs> Like, there was none of that, you know? Or, like, the horny kids. Like, there was really none of that. Just, like, stone face. They're typical, like, uh, I'm a normal person. I work with the CIA. I'm a cop. Like, I don't know. I was just expecting more bad. But is that, is that, I don't know. Let me ask you guys something. Is that a ridiculous, like, hype to go into the movie? Just be like, I want a bad movie? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It was okay. It was very dope. It was okay. Next, uh, day 14th? October 14th will be Stephen King's at a adaptation of trucks obviously a lot of comparisons to uh, christine but uh yeah trucks gonna be i don't know what to think about this this next one hopefully it's good or not boring 